The horror version of Home Alone is back. That's right, Becky is back in an all-new sequel where the question may come up at the end of the movie. Oh yeah, thirsty for more. And yes, I am certainly ready for more. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional, and this is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about the wrath of Becky. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. Brian O'Halloran, and you're watching the Popcorn Confessional on the Nerd Box. <laughs> Sounds like a porn site. Two years after she escaped a violent attack on her family, 16-year-old Becky attempts to rebuild her life in the care of an older woman, a kindred spirit named Elena. However, when a violent group known as the Noble Men break into their home, attack them, and take their beloved dog, Becky must return to her old ways to protect herself and her loved ones. Lulu Wilson is back as Becky. The first part of this film came out during the pandemic. It went straight to drive-in theaters, whatever ones that were still open, because theaters were shut down at that time. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people may have missed it. Now, the first Becky I thought was okay. Some of the weak points of that film to me was Kevin James. He played a neo-Nazi. I thought that he really could have hit it out of the ballpark with it, but he kind of felt like he was holding it back a little bit. I think he held back a little. I, maybe it's because the party played. I, you know, I mean, it's probably not something people want to do, <laughs> play a neo-Nazi. I don't know. I think he was good, but he could have been better. Lulu Wilson, on the other hand, yes. is freaking amazing. If you don't know the name, she was in Annabelle Creation. She was in Ouija Board. Mm -hmm. And she was in Becky where, like I said, it's like Home Alone. Some neo-Nazis come to her house and she's not just going to play some pranks on them. She's going to kill them with some pranks. And she's going to enjoy it. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we catch up to Becky a few years after the events have unfolded and we get to see how it's messed with her psyche. And what I always liked about films like this is you get the opening credits where it gives you the backstory mm -hmm. without having to give you the backstory. It's just a series of drawings that says, hey, look, this is kind of mm -hmm. what's happened yeah. along her journey to the point that we're at yeah. now. And she has a couple of flashbacks, which helps. Mm -hmm. It kind of like fills in the pieces of those drawings a little bit, which is good. So they don't have to like retell the entire story. You get the idea something terrible happened to this child and it made her go a little crazy. Do you have to see the first one? Not really. You but don't should have you to. watch it? Yeah, you can watch it. It's not as good as this one. This one is fun. Mm -hmm. It's got some really good violence to it. It's unbelievable violence because you have a 16-year-old girl just going off. But it's it's really good. Yeah, Lula Wilson, again, completely amazing. And then you have um, Courtney Gaines, who you don't know is from the original Children of the Corn as Isaac. Mm -hmm. He was Isaac. So now he's an old man. <laughs> he is somewhat the, the hired guns or muscles for Sean William Scott, who did excellent as a bad guy. He gave me chills as a bad guy, I gotta say. I would like to see him in that role more often. Oh yes, definitely. He His performance, it was very toned down. Mm -hmm. He was very straight laced and focused mm -hmm. because the noblemen are kind of shining a mirror on some of the crap that we've seen over the last few years yeah. in society. So he is playing that homegrown terrorist and uh, yeah. he has some plans that he wants to unfold. But yeah. Becky kind of gets in the way because, uh, you know, they ended up on her doorstep and did some naughty things and they took her dog man yeah they did so you know you know what happens when you mess with john wick's dog so you don't mess with becky's dog just don't mess with the dogs <laughs> honestly i don't care how many people you kill but leave the damn dogs alone they didn't do anything dogs are so much better than humans there is also another cameo here for independent horror lovers deborah logan I don't know her name. <laughs> She's from the taking of Deborah Logan, yes. so I don't know what her name is. The actress that played Deborah Logan, she yes. is in this movie. We're not going to tell you what she was doing in this uh -huh. film, but you will find out. And Kate Siegel from Hush. Mm -hmm. So this had a lot of cool nods to the horror genre and wrestling, because <laughs> there's a gentleman dressed up as Coco Beware 
in a picture on a wall. Don't know why. I haven't looked it up. But, hey, it is what it is. Maybe he was a big fan. Yeah. I mean, they kind of, those people were kind of still dressed like they were living in the 80s. This is so. true. This is true. <laughs> so, lots of fun, lots of violence. If you like Violet Night, you're going to like this. Because that's kind of what it reminded me of. The, t the pace of the movie and the action. It just was totally absurd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's enjoyable. Yeah. It's a popcorn flick. And the kills are really good. Mm -hmm. I I enjoyed them, and if you're the type of person like I am, you are gonna be totally satisfied when the bad guys get their just dues. Mm -hmm. Like you're just gonna be cheering for Becky. Yes. <laughs> so what do you rate this one? Um, I want to go see it again in the theater, like right now. <laughs> yeah, I want to see it in the theater again too. It's a fairly short film. Yeah, it's only so, about an hour and a half. Yeah, but it pulls off everything that it needs to. It doesn't need to be any longer. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's going to leave you wanting more. Maybe we'll get more. Mm -hmm. Anyway, don't forget there's a couple things that you need to do. And that is like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the things. Yes. The notification bell, you can click it. But you don't need to. Just I don't. drop the like, hit the subscribe. Drop a comment and win stuff for watching videos. Yeah. We have stuff to give away. Yes. Anyway, until the next popcorn confessional. See, see ya. ya.